Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Cinch. Specifically, we're going to start with setting up all the hardware you need um, to get started with Cinch. So just to back up, um, Cinch operating system solves a few problems with Wi-Fi. What you're essentially going to do is connect directly from uh, the computer or tablet or phone that you're trying to control your Raspberry Pi with to the Raspberry Pi. What we're going to do is use a Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle, and that will throw out an, a Wi-Fi SSID called DEX, D-E-X, that we'll connect to or like log into from our, uh, um, our computer or our phone uh, or tablet. So I've got a few things to get started with. I've got a Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is a Model 3. You can use a 2, a B, B plus, a, um, a Raspberry Pi Zero as well. Um, we've got a Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle and the Cinch operating system will only work with the Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle. Um, and we've got uh, a micro SD card with Cinch burned to it. So it's got the Cinch operating system, which as I said is a little bit different um, than Raspbian for robots. Um, and finally I've got uh, USB power. So first step is I'm going to go ahead and just set this up hardware-wise and that just requires putting the Wi-Fi dongle into the Raspberry Pi and the SD card into the uh, Raspberry Pi on the back side. And that's pretty much all you need. You, you should have the robot built, uh, whether you're using the Grove Pi or the Brick Pi or the Go Pi Go already. And finally, we're just going to power it up. And what we'll see after we power it up are the normal turn on of the lights. Uh, we'll see the ACT lights start to blink, the power light is on there, and it's solid. And we'll give it a, just a minute or two, and we'll start to see a light in the Wi-Fi dongle actually turn on as well. Cinch actually can take a minute or two to start up. It takes a little bit longer to set up the Wi-Fi access point. Great, and now we can see the uh, Wi-Fi uh, dongle is starting to blink there. And if we go onto our Wi-Fi uh, network search on our computer or our phone, we'll see the uh, uh, new Wi-Fi network called DEX, D-E-X. Okay, so I've got the hardware set up for the for Cinch. I've got the Cinch operating system running on, on a Raspberry Pi 3. Um, and I've got a Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle installed on there. It's all up and running now, and you can you know it's putting out an SSID. The little uh, LED inside of the Wi-Fi dongle is blinking. That may be <clears throat> a little hard to see in the video, but um, that's blinking, so I know it's setting up an SSID. Um, I've got a standard Android tablet, and that is connected right now to the internet. I'm logged onto the Dexter Industries website. I've got a combination wireless keyboard and mouse. They both come with this Wi-Fi dongle. And finally, maybe most importantly, I've got a Dexter Industries OTG cable. That's an on-the-go cable. And this is what allows me to put, say, a USB device into the tablet. Once I connect that, see, I'll get a couple of messages. But I'll go ahead and connect it now. Um, put the dongle into the um, USB and then the USB into the USB port of the tablet. I've got a Nexus tablet here and it just fits right in. And we saw a little warning signal come up in the, the front edge there and basically lets you know you've got a keyboard and mouse and may ask you to select it depending on your setup. Um, and now you can see that I've actually got control um, over and if you can see the little mouse running around, but I've got control over the mouse and my keyboard should work as well with the wireless setup. So I'll do very similar to what I do in the computer. I go up to my Wi-Fi devices. i do that with the finger here. And I will move from my home network into DEX, which is broadcasting, and I'll connect to DEX. So let's see. Now I've connected to it. There's no password to log into the Wi-Fi network. Um, you may get this Wi-Fi has no internet access um, signal, but from here I can just type in 10.10.10, .10 .10, 
it's automatically showing up with the 8001, but you, you don't need any colon after it. Just type in 10 period, 10 period, 10 period, 10. And I should be able to pull up. There we go. It's my Raspbian for Robots um, uh, page. And I've got the option of going in and doing uh, terminal or VNC. In this case, I want to use the desktop, so I'm going to type VNC. And I should be able to click on that box and then type in the password, robots1234. Maybe I have the key caps lock on. There we go. Careful you don't have the cap caps lock on. Now I can actually see the uh, the uh, desktop for for Cinch. If it's a little bit small on Chrome, um, your tablet or your uh, mobile may be a little bit small. You can scroll with the, um, you can see I'm using this flywheel here to sc scroll around and from there you can do all the great stuff that uh, you want to do with Cinch, like start scratch. Or start a terminal. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm able to use whatever I need to in uh, in uh, Cinch.